Big carry by Brian Berg and he's still going. Here's the youngster, Paul Ruiz, under pressure. Lewitz now to the left, Petorius. Good tackle by Ryan Jack for Paul Ruiz. Comes left again, Lewitz into the corner. It's JC Moss, can he get over? And yes, he does. And that is a dream start if there ever was one. Daniel van der has been accurate off the boot this season. Difficult first kick. And just pulls it left of the upright. Dream start that is for Paul Boys. January Martin. again. Oli Reed gets over the gain line and gets a bit of momentum for Paul Ruiz. Now it is Christian de Villiers again. And he is inches short of the try line. Into the hands, back inside, over the try line. That man, Ryan Jack, opens the scoreboard for Paul Ruiz. Having conceded so early on from Paul Ruiz. The game will pays off for Paul Ruiz, taking a two-point lead. 16 minutes into this game, just past the halfway. Short line out. Up goes Kruger. Oli Reid this time. Ball in hand. On the front foot off, Paul Ruiz. Moving closer, getting over, and it's Oli Reid for the second score for Paul Ruiz. And finally, some reward for the Maroon Machine. Four-man line-out, or three-man line out with one ripper. So look at BJ Peterson, normally quite accurate, just pulls it left again. The Grunewald's pace on the left, but he shows and goes and breaks a couple of tackles, gets it into the hands of Barnos with a step off the left foot. Now January on the inside, he's free, and January opens the second half with a score, just like the first. Turnover ball from the kickoff, and Paul Ruiz open the scoreboard in the Dive second half. scores the five-pointer, adds the extra two, and all of a sudden, Paul Ruiz have picked that up a notch. Ball is required. Space on the left to the captain, Pretorius, into January. He has to fight above his way to make that tackle. Just inches short. Now the blue machine, slow ball, left again. And he crashes over. Try goes away of the boys' eye team, and they answer it. It's Ruben Damas who stands up for the ball, and boys' eye back. The strike is good. The flags are up, and that is it. Daniel van der Marwe successful with his second attempt, and only seven points in it. Morgan Peterson. 40 odd meters out. The strike is good. The flags go up and he had some distance to spare there, did the young man, and then takes the points scoring or the points tally up to 20 points. Peterson just keeping his forwards on the front foot and trying to add the extra three. Good strike by the young man. Kicks it a mile, does VJ Peterson. He adds the extra three and 13 points the difference. Yeah. Peterson with a good strike. If the crowd is anything to go by, you'd know that is successful. Fantastic kick by the young Flaha from Stellenbosch. Lee J. Peterson finding his feet. As they choose to do. Riley Norton again for the Paul Ruiz team. They pinch it short and they're putting boys under pressure. And again, this is Oliver Reed who breaks it first tackle and he gets over. And that surely marks is the final nail in the coffin of this boys' eye team. Paul Ruiz who come away with. DJ Peterson trying to add the extra two, which he dearly does. For the boys' eye team, and now they can go. They've got the penalty advantage. Hansen into the hands of Devon Fuller, and now into the hands of Van Velling. And he's showing a clean pair of heels on the inside. He gets it to JC Moss. Can he hold on? Yes, he can. And he's over for a score in the dying minutes of this game. JC Moss, we mentioned him before. He's a special player. Try created by right, Van Velling. If they want to take it, Van Velling fights JC Mars and there's only one Stoffels. Stoffels has to make a good yes. Big tackle into touch on Devon Fuller by the captain, Andreas Westhuizen. And that is probably a just finish to a game that has seen these two teams take each, on, each other on physically. Paul Ruiz came out victors, 35 points to 17 in a well-fought battle here at Brookstraat. Thank <laughs> you.